Hi guys, welcome back to Elite Tech Media Interactive. So Nvidia Pasco 1080, 1080 Ti Titan specs leak out to, uh, to feature up to 6144 kilo cores and 12.6 12, 12 uh, TFLOPs. The specs of Nvidia upcoming GP uh, 104 base 1080 10, uh, and GP 100 base uh, 1080 Ti. The next gen Titan graphic cards have allegedly been leaked. One of the hot of Rumors are uh, my hands, the rumor tag you see above, so bear in mind that and keep you, uh, uh sh um, sh um, soul shaker handy. I'm not going to waste any time here and we'll get straight up to the specs, but quickly before I do, I have to re remind everyone that the GTX 1080 and 1080 Ti names are not officially official by any means. In fact, we would bet Nvidia will call its Pasco base, GPU card, something else entirely, and the bud are. Uh, update uh, naming scheme updated um, now the specs 1080 will allegedly feature the most powerful gp104 configuration with all the chips um, resources unlocked this translates to 40 40 4096 uh, 4, cores 200, 256 texture mapping units 128 render outputs units and 1000 MHz base clock for up to total of 8192 teraflops so we can see here, um, comparing Nanere Ti Titan X. Look at the difference, fucking enormous, enormous difference. Uh, next, uh, we we have a uh, Teneri, uh, it's not Teneri, so yeah, Teneri Ti, which allegedly feature Kadan of Kadan uh, GP one one hundred GPU packing five thousand one hundred twenty CUDA cores, three hundred twenty map mapping units. 160 render outputs units and feature base clock of uh, 1025 megahertz for a total of 10,406 teraflops. The next generation Pascal Titan will allegedly feature 6,144 kilo cores, 384 texture mapping units, and 192 render output units and feature base clock of 10, uh, 1025 megahertz for a total of 12,495 teraflops. <coughs> How accurate are these specs? Now we have gotten to specs out of the way. There is a few red flags that, that should uh, direct you attention towards. The first thing being the source of these specs is claiming that 980 TL will feature 8 gigabyte DDR5 memory, 512 uh, megabyte bus interface. All the white, uh, all the while the Pascal based Titan, which is based on the very same GP100 GPU, will feature the entirely different memory interface and an entirely different memory standard. Any person with basic knowledge of the chip design will tell you that this will not happen. Each GPU only feature one memory standard, either DDR5X or HPM2, no both. You, you will not see GPU with two completely different memory interfaces supporting two different memory technologies if you only support one or the other. That is true. The alleged memory specs for the GTX 1080 don't make a whole lot of sense neither. There is another red flag here and it's no source that is claiming that Nvidia will be using DDR5 um, rather than DDR5X for the for its uh, GP104 powered uh, GTX 1080, not only that, not only that, but it will also allegedly configure, it will allegedly be configured with 384-bit memory interface and 6 gigabytes of memory. For starters, uh, for starts, it's unlikely that you will see Nvidia use DDR5 rather than DDR5X, which offer double the bandwidth. And it's high end graphic card. Secondly, bench life source, uh, which which will hold hold in in much uh, high uh, higher regard for its implicable accuracy over the over the uh, over the years. Claim that Nvidia 1080 will be configured with 8 gigabyte memory rather than six, which cr credibility aside is much more believable figure to begin with. Considering DDR5X will only offer twice the bandwidth of DDR5, but twice the capacity 8GB DDR5X would require 256 memory interface and would deliver 448GB memory bandwidth. That amount of bandwidth is enough to keep the <coughs> GPU at 33% more performance than Titan X happily fed. Even in Benchlight we had leaked the, this memory specs 8GB memory is 100% but we will bet on. It simply makes perfect sense that this type of chip and it's time to market. Um, what we really know about the Pascal, um, there's a strong evidence that suggests that Nvidia will showcase Pascal in the fir first time publicity next month at GTC, um, which uh, we have reports from 
speed clockers, dig digital times, and bench life, all of which have sold at the, uh, track records indicating NVIDIA is launching the GP104 base 1080 and 1070 graphic cards, no official names this summer, both of which will report uh, with support, uh, support of 8GB of DDR5X memory and single A-pin PCIe connector. So what we know about it so far, the past call two-time performance for what estimates improved over Maxwell directs directs a 12 feature level 12.0 uh, 12 dash uh, 1 or higher successor to GM200 GPU found in GT Titan or G980Ti built in 16 nm fin fed manufacturing process uh, eligibly uh, has a total of 17 billion transistors more than twice of GM200 will feature four H uh, HI HBM2 stacks up to total of 16 gigabyte of VRAM, 8 high stacks of 32 gigabyte for professional quadro and Telsa SKUs. Um, feature, features of 4096 bit memory bus interface, sens same as AMD Fuji uh, GPU, supports a uh, high precision uh, FP16, uh, compute at twice the rate of full precision FP32 feature and NVLink only compatible with next generation IBM Power PC server processors. So this you can see the thing. I reckon uh, I'm not gonna read through all this. It's just way too much. But uh, it's just a speculation. You know what I mean? And it's it's very difficult to, for for us to, you know, like I like I already said, it's worth the wait. You should definitely wait. You should definitely not upgrade to non ti because there is really no point. Uh, this is about to come out next month. The pr improvement you saw here, you know, like so. You know, we. I'm actually looking forward to 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 this. It's going to be fucking unbelievable, unbelievable cards. You know, they will cost a lot more, but they're gonna be worth it. You know what I mean? That's that's the end of the day. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe for more. Thank you.